told Kyle Shanahan you didn't have to say it, but you was telling the truth. I got an issue with Joy Kyle Shanahan saying it publicly, not because I don't think that call was problematic. It was problematic, and I'll show y'all on tape just how problematic it was. Not because I don't think Steve Wilkes is problematic. I think Steve Wilkes is not helping the Niners' defense as much as he should be. But Kyle Shanahan, keep that one in-house. What do you gain by letting the whole world know that your defensive coordinator messed up? We already kind of know. People at in the know know, but I just don't know what is the game by telling the media just how bad Steve Wilkes messed up. I already know. Joy knows. James knows. Shady knows. Y'all likely know. Y'all play Madden. Y'all know Engage 8. Y'all know y'all bringing the heat when y'all call that play, <laughs> and it does not work more often than not. But this isn't Madden. This is real life. That was so, the play right there that he called yeah, that. Yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. To where the ball went through the body of the Niners defender. Okay. That, that play. <laughs> that play. Uh, anyway, Joy, is Kyle Shanahan's criticism mm. of defensive coordinator Steve Wilkes out of line? I, I don't know. Did it go through the defender? Yes, it did. It did. Did they have a whole half after this? Mm. Sure. Yeah, yeah, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. Yeah. No doubt about it. <clears throat> I don't know how I feel about it. Mm. Do we always have to protect people also? No. I don't know that we always have to protect people. <clears throat> I kind of want to reverse the question on TV because <laughs> cause I don't feel like he's really out of line, but I also don't really feel like this was the deciding factor in the game. Yeah. You right. had a Fact. whole half Fact. to play. That's true. Shady said this yesterday. It never comes down to one play. <laughs> mm -hmm. We always focus on the one mistake, the one interceptions, and the game. You had all these other plays and all these other mistakes, and this person missed this tackle and this block, and this person didn't get to this assignment. You had a whole half to recover from this bad choice. So from that perspective, I don't love him calling him out. Because if this was the determining factor for the game, like nobody else made any mistakes, maybe. But I also think if someone makes a mistake, can't you just say it was a mistake? Why is it always gotta be we gotta protect everybody? Mm. Very well said. Very, I, I can't wait for this conversation because I like points like that that are made. I mean, James Jones, what yes. you at? You know, the, uh, I hate it, number one, but I'm on the fence a little bit because as a player, I always wanted people to call me out when I didn't do my job. Like, okay. I, I, well, I, I wouldn't say I always want them to call me out, but I was never sensitive to it. Mm -hmm. Like, if I didn't do my job and a player, a quarterback, whoever called me out, whether it be on the field, whether it be in the media, I'm just like, he right. You know, I didn't, I didn't do my job. I got to play better. I've, ne I've been coached hard my whole life. I've never been sensitive from that standpoint. But you're talking about a coach now that you sit in these meetings with from six in the morning to day near six at night and you go over these game plans, whatever it may be. But the only reason why I have a problem with it is because I want to switch it a little bit. What if Steve Wilkes was up there and was like, I don't know what Shanahan was calling after we stopped him <laughs> and Purdy threw that pick. And then we stopped him again and then he called another play and Purdy threw another pick on back-to-back -back drives after our defense stopped him to go win the game. Yep. I don't know what Cal was doing. We would be probably be sitting up here He'd killing Wilkes, Steve right? Wilkes or fired. So for me, that's your coach. Whether you disagree with the call or not, it's so many calls during the game that your coaches is on the sideline saying, he running it right there? Mm -hmm. Like, that they, that they disagreeing with. And they have never came out and said that to you in the media and said it publicly. This is something that as a coach you talk to, you know, not to the media, hey man, you know, 16 seconds left, you're going, you're going all out blitz. Like, we, can, we can't be doing that. Yep. I'm, I'm good with that, calling them out there, but bringing it to the media and now all the players is looking at it like, dang, coach didn't like the call neither. Like, that's, that's the vision in the team. I'm, I'm a Kyle Shanahan fan, but I do not like this right here, calling out one of your coaches because nobody steps up there and calls out your mistakes. Mm. You know, so for me, I don't like it, especially when you're calling out a coach. Shady, you grinning. I loved it. Oh, God. I love it. You know, we're, everybody nowadays, from the players, the coaches, are so oh, sensitive. Oh, he said, I can't play. Oh, I'm so mad. Oh, why? Uh, he threw all these picks. He's a bad quarterback. Oh, why are you talking about the players? What, what do you mean? What he said is what you seen. Mm -hmm. That's true. True that or false. True. That right? is true. So, and you, hold up, hold up. And you said something I, I hate. Another thing you said. Oh, God. Talking about what he say? why he didn't call out Kyle Shanahan. Do you got a boss? I do. Do you got a boss? I do. I got a boss. <laughs> Brother, you got a boss. You're not about to say nothing about it's your not boss. Right, though. What's right? I ain't gonna go. That's a whole other topic. What's right? Anyway, <laughs> we got bosses and we got its levels of everything. You can't talk about your boss. But one thing I like about Kyle Shanahan is that when he messes up or he doesn't make the right play call or does different things, he speaks on it. Yo, mm -hmm. I let us down today. It was my fault. That's different. I mean, he's calling. So if you call yourself out as a head coach, right, and let it be visible so everybody to see. Why can't you call another coach? But that's different. Why can't you call another player? That, that, they talk about that Super Bowl game when they came back, um, the um, Patriots against um, Atlanta. You ever hear him yeah. talk about that? Yeah. He talks about that. He's very vocal about it.
and he owns up to it. And if, and if the head coach can own up to something he did wrong, why can't the player and why can't the coach do it? I love that. And you don't think he talked to him in a meeting? Hey, he I, I ain't like that move. It's 16 seconds left going into half. They're on their own 35? Why are you doing an all-out blitz? Mm. My son is 11. He does stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? This is the NFL getting paid a lot of money. So I'll say this. Going forward, I think that everybody's more accountable. You're right. Hey, Kyle, that's my fault. I'm on my game. Players, too. They see it. The worst part is I hate it when I was with Chip Kelly with the offense. When I would say, hey, coach, this, this, this shit ain't working. I'm just going to say it. This, oh, excuse me. This thing ain't working. <laughs> like, can we say that on TV? No, I get so upset. But this, this thing ain't working, Chip. And you need to do something better about it. Yep. He didn't want to listen. He felt I was coming at him. I'm like, no, I'm not coming at you, but bro, you need to, you need to do some adjustments. Yep. Th this to and, chip. Yeah, I'm saying it. And if I'm saying it, the players are thinking it. Uh -huh. The coaches are thinking it. Yeah. So I love when people are, 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 are visible and, and, and honest and open. Yeah. Like, hey, bro, we need to change this. Yeah. That's all he did. And, I, and I'm good with oh, that, Shady. I'm good with you going up to Chip. We got to change this. Not going into the media. Chip got to change this. Mm -hmm. For what? Talk, talk to the man, right? You don't got to go in... To, to the media and say, man, they, you know they, what I mean? They asked him. Because for me, I know that, but for me, you a head coach, you know how to duck and dodge questions. You can duck and dodge a lot of questions. I, 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 don't, I right? mean, you can duck and dodge Don't duck his joy. But th to me, this is different than him letting us oh, know something man. that we didn't already know. Oh, like, elaborate, if, elaborate, I'm interested. Like, if there's something going on behind closed doors that nobody mm. saw, and he's Brings revealing it up. that through a question, that's different than we all watched with our eyeballs during the game, what was done, and like, and he's asked about it. That's different. We, he's not. He's not like revealing anything. He's not. He's not. Don't you think? He's not throwing him under the bus. The bus has already gone. The yeah. bus is down the street. Don't you think? Kyle Shanahan could have absorbed some of the he blow. He could have. Yes, he like, could have. He yes, could have done a coach have. speech. Here's, he could have. He could, he could have, have said, "If question. we catch it, it's a great he, call." He, he, could or, have, he could have said, "You know, we all need to be better." Blah blah blah. It's not. It's on or me. Take, or, yeah, or take ownership. He could have said all those things. I'm just saying, is everyone gonna be okay? Like, I don't think I don't think Steve Wilkes will, and I think that's part of the reason why Shanahan did it. Now let's go to the next layer. I think Shanahan <laughs> did it because I think Kyle Shanahan knows Steve Wilkes is not up to the same level as Robert Sala, former defensive coordinator for the Niners. Yeah, yeah. And after Robert Sala, there was D'Amico Ryan, yeah. former teammate of uh, Shady and myself, former Ooh, defensive coordinator for the Niners. Me. Steve Wilkes is not up to that level. I know he's not. You know, let me show y'all why he's not. Uh -oh. uh, hold on, real quick. Go ahead. Wait. Uh -oh. Wait. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. They just was day near the best defense in the National That's Football what I'm League. Saying. Five and zero. Oh. Hold on. Go ahead. Then in the two losses, you give up sixteen and seventeen points. More than that. And your team. More than that. Oh, 22, 22, and and 22 and nineteen <laughs> points. Mm -hmm. Come on. They were and the, your offense has the ball to go score they, twice. The moments, though. They were the best defense, one of the best defenses in the NFL, I would say, in spite of Steve Wilkes. Because of Fred, because of Hufunga, because of Dre, because of Bosa, because of Hargrave. I, 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 I can do this for days. But, but I'm but saying, but, but, but that, yeah, all in it, though. With Sala and, and... D'Amico. And D'Amico? Yes, that's why they were so good. With Sala and D'Amico, they Dang. were one they and two. They killing What were they through the first five yeah. games of the year? With Wilkes, they were like three. They were three, Come four. On, bro. They, they got a good they, defense. They do. But, oh, but they oh, don't oh. have an elite but defense. This, all I'm saying is this. You didn't say that when they beat on the Cowboys. We thought they were elite, right? Brad no, played elite. We doing it Brad again. Brad played elite to exist. There's no so good plays that Steve Wilkes did on there? There are, there are several. <laughs> but on third down, there weren't yeah. any. No. So, so then you don't have a problem with Kyle Shanahan doing this then? <sighs> I you, have you talk bad about it. You, you, didn't, you didn't just drag this man. Yes, we had, we had like a good three minutes of dragging. We, we, yes, you know you so you, we you, couldn't even stop you. We were trying to stop you. We couldn't ooh, even ooh, stop ooh, ooh, ooh. you. Know what I mean, man. you did art. You were doing art on the big board. Now you want to come over here yes. and talk about Shanahan should have been quiet. That is true. Uh, I guess it's let us do it. Let me do it. If the coach does, the only reason I think, truth be told, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end y'all with, end this with this thought. Robert Sala, the DC, he stopped being the DC shady because he got promoted. D'Amico Ryans, he stopped being the DC because he got promoted. Mm. How is this going to end with the Niners defense and Steve Wilkes? He's 54, he's not getting promoted. He was the Arizona Cardinals coach for one year, whether you agree or not, they ran him out of there. He's not gonna get another head coaching job. So how's this gonna end? Either Firing or being mediocre? I think Shanahan is publicly saying all of this. It's, it's not good. It's They're not mediocre good. now? They're not mediocre, but for where they are. Like, if Shady rushes for 1,100 yards, Shady's capable of rushing for 1,500. So to everybody else, that's great. But, like, if Shady rushes for 1,100, that's just not that great because he's elite. 
Joey, I'm but, taking 1100. But, this is, but, this is, but this is after two games, yeah, though. 1100, yeah, I'm taking that. <laughs> but this, but the, we saying this after two games, they not elite. For five straight weeks, they was the most consistent and yeah. most elite team. They was the best both, team on, on your both roster. sides they the of the football. football. They were the most. But remember what happened versus the Rams. The Rams scored 23 points on them. The Rams, it's America. It's a divisional game. The Rams aren't that bad of a team. Remember what happened at the end. There were just two. And again, I'm just such a stickler for defense, particularly the Niners. And they always defense. do good against the Rams. Particularly I mean, the Rams. I mean, the Rams always do good against the Rams. Right. And the, the only last thing I'll say is, like, remember Nick Bosa last year through seven games. I think he had seven and a half or so. Seven. Okay, okay. Right now he has one. That's seven. Wilkes' fault. No, no, that's, yes. his, that's, no, no, that's his fault. Oh, and he spoke about it. Like, like, that Wilkes spoke fault? about it. Because he's saying, like, yo, I haven't had no, no, no camp. And you know a lot of players... He ain't lying in the mud. Look up, look up Nick Bosa's second sack versus the Miami Dolphins last year. Mm -hmm. Look up Nick Bosa's second sack versus the Rams. Bosa wasn't in year. camp. I'm and, saying... And, Bo and Bosa was talking about it. But Bosa, talked about Bosa has two and a half this year. Load him on the iPad, end of the show, I'll bring it up. But the scheme. at the end of the day... You can bring up plays to where Kyle Shanahan ain't got the no right doubt. play call on. No doubt. You can bring up plays to where Wilk. That's that's football, Shady, right? No, it ain't, right, ain't, right, ain't right. a perfect play every single time you line up. That's why you see quarterbacks but scrambling. What about the that's work? why you see all this. What about the work? Because Joy made a great point roughly 15 minutes ago now. I know we got to go to break. We'll go there in a second. Joy made a great point. A lot of people make bad play calls. No doubt. My issue is, this was the most egregious play call that could have been called. You could have closed your eyes, point your finger anywhere on the play call sheet, and anywhere you would have landed would have been better than and, and I can agree on that. I can agree, okay, play call, not a good play call, right? It happens during the game. But you don't got to call your coach out. You tell your coach that. That don't got to be in the media. That's, that's all I'm no. saying. This is your coach. You guys trying to get this thing right. You don't call the game perfect every time. Get with your coach. Like, bro, what you doing in 16? I'm good with that. I'm good with you holding them accountability and all that. Just why to the media? I, I, I don't understand I'll that. I'll make sure when I make a mistake that I take accountability. I, I'm just saying. So I've, you don't have to. I've <laughs> been in plenty of situations to where. That often, so we don't have to worry about it. No doubt. Either. But I've been in pretty situations to where I'm standing up there at the podium and one of my teammates have made a mistake that they think lost the football game. James, man, can you believe blah, 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 fumbled and lost it? It wasn't, it wasn't his fault, right? Because I dropped the ball in the second quarter. You know, Aaron didn't make a throw in the third quarter. Like, it ain't just... That, 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 that's, that's me. That's a teammate. Not like, yeah, he can't fumble. He lost us. Yeah. That's basically what you say. You can't... Don't do that. You got some great teammates, coach, boy. Man. If you fumble the ball away, I'm calling you out, man. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of mistakes, man, but James fumbled and lost the game. <laughs> if, I know, you, if I know you right now, you ain't going to do it in the media. You might come to my locker and tell me that, but you ain't going to do it in the media. I mean, <laughs> it depends on it, how the questions are asked. Shane, you, you taking 1,100? I mean, I got numbers. I see my numbers. You got, I'm you just, got a 1,300 season, a 1,600 season, another 1,300 season, another 1,300 All I'm saying is, taking 11? is, is better 11 than, 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 than what, 800? Uh. 700? You're right. You're right. Better than 700. You're right. Better 11 than 700. <laughs> Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.